Hallo, Grade 8, lesen 13. Dit is vandaag lees 13, graad 8. Zullen alle kinders wat zo so mooi werken in vakantie tijd? You are very dedicated to work so hard and you will get the fruits of your labor. We are busy adding like terms. Jullie was een oefening geweest wat net gezegd. Steeds wat jy altijd gedoen het, maar op een andere manier gevraag. Hy veel gegeen, die moet by mekaar getel word by die, by mekaar getel word by die. If they say add, you just write everything next to each other. That's the basic of it. If you want to first say plus and then write the bracket, it's still going to stay the same. So met ander woorde, jy kan direct net alles net langs mekaar geskryf het, omdat hulle gesê het plus. So if I add, I add the like terms. En hier soos my x kwadraat tel alles by mekaar, ek nou nie die ene keer mis nie. As ek die x kwadraat by mekaar tel, dat die koefisjente by mekaar, het gaan ons steeds x nie mag 2 wees, maar minus 3 en minus 4 is minus 7. So when I add the like terms, I'm looking for the same exact variables, and I keep the variable x square as is, and I only add the coefficients, minus 3 en minus 4. Volgende ene keer op my lys is die 3x i, there are three of them. I'm still going to get something x, y. And if it's zero x, y, then it just falls away. So I get plus three. Min seven geef my minus vier. En as ek sê minus nog drie daarby, dan geef het vir my minus seven. So I'm adding. I can first add them. The minus three and the plus three is nothing. So only minus seven x, y is left. Or three minus three is minus four. And minus three is minus 7, want hou jy is nie bezig om te maal nie, it's not multiplication, that a minus and a minus gives a plus, you adding. 3 en minus 7 geef minus 4, en minus 4 en minus 3 geef minus 7, it's not a minus times a minus there. En wat oorblij, all of these that are left are all something y square, add the coefficients, minus 1, minus 10 is minus 11, plus 15 is plus 4, so minus 1, Minus 10 geeft mij minus 11, plus 15 geeft mij plus 4 i kwadraat. Die vraag heeft niet gevraagd om het een dalende machten van x of stijgende machten van i of enig iets te geven. They never gave me any um, indication on how to write the answer. But if they did say, in descending powers of x, we will write. Descending powers of x, as ik zei, dalende machten van x, was ons raag. Dalende machte van x, want is x to die 2, x to die 1, x to die, daar is nie, 0. x to the 2, x to the 1, x to the 0, because there is no x, so it is in descending powers of x, and even ascending powers of y, dis selfs stijgende machte van y, want hier is y to die mag 0, y to die mag 1, y to die mag 2, stijgend. This is y to the power 0, y to the 1, y to the 2, so you can see it's in ascending powers of y. They never asked me that. Questions like, what is the power of this uh, expression? What is the graad, the degree, sorry, what is the degree of this expression? What is the graad hiervan? You was the exponent is 2. How many terms? Who feel terme? That our three terme is. So we can ask all those questions again and again. Coefficient of x squared is not 7, minus 7. Raag. Goed. Kom ons kyk na die volgende ene kie. Just add the like terms. So we have x to the 3's. 8 minus 1 is 7 x to the 3. 8 minus 1 geef my 7 x to die mag 3. Dan doos by die kwadrate. 6 x kwadrat min 2 x kwadrat. 6 minus 2 is plus 4. 6 minus 2 is 4. Wat so goed? Nog steeds x kwadrat. Jy doen niks meer aan veranderlijke the rules must be so clear in your mind. When you add, you add like terms and you don't do anything to the variable. Just add the coefficients. Jy moet baie mooi jou reel skeen. As ek optel, soek ek gelijk soortige terme en ek doe niks met die veranderlijke nie. Ek duw wat hy is en ek tel nie die coefficiënte by mekaar. Dan soos nou by die x'e. So it was. Min 4 plus 3 is min 1 x, and you don't have to put that one there, but if you want to, you can. En dan laastens wat oorblij, is 5 en 7, wat nog vir altyd 12 was. 5 plus 7 has always been 12. And now we've done it, so that it is in descending powers of x. Dis in dalende machte van x. Die constante term is 12. If I asked you for the constant, it was 12. What is the degree of the expression? 
3, wat is die graad van die uitdrukking? Die hoogste exponent wat 3 is. Hoeveel termen is hy? Weet al, 4 terms, 4 termen. Goed, vraag 2 het gesê, trek die tweede uitdrukking van die eerste ter uitdrukking af. Het sê, subtract the second expression from the first expression. So as I stood there, they just had a semicolon there. Al wat nog was, was so kom op in tussen die twee en dat is wat gesê, trek die tweede van die eerste en af. So if I have to subtract, I take the whole thing and put a minus in front of it. As ek moet hierdie ding aftrek van, as het ek om in een haakje en ek sê ek wil om aftrek. So all that happens now is that minus times a minus is going to be a plus and a minus times a plus is going to be a minus. This is what now here is going Min mal a min is a plus and a min mal a plus is a min. The rest is going to stay exactly the same and don't leave stuff away. Moe nou nie helft van die stappe hier weg los nie. Daar alles moet daar staan. So that it all still is equal to the first one. En jy kan gelijk soorte getermen met mekaar tel, die die koefisjente by mekaar te tel. So daar geef my 14x van 5 en 9 is 14. You add the like terms by adding the coefficients. x times x, 5 and 9 is 14. Dan tel jy die plus 2i en min 2i by mekaar and it gives you 0y, which you don't have to write, you just leave it away. Van is 2 minus 2 is niks. It is 0y, which is 0, which you don't have to write. Weer een keer trek die tweede van die eerste een af. So in all of these cases, the second one must be subtracted from the first one, as in the textbook. So all you have to do is write that second one with a minus in front. Write the second one with a minus in front, second one with a minus in front. And now all that happens in the first step is time in the negative. So it's a minus times a minus is a plus, times a plus is a minus, times a plus is a minus. In all of these cases. Die rest bly net soos wat het was. Don't be too lazy to write all this down again. And A, 3B and C. Now I add the like terms by adding the coefficients. 4 and 1 is 5A. Ek tel die coefficiente 4 en 1 by mekaar. By die B stel ek die plus 1 en die min 3 by mekaar. Geef my min 2 nog steeds B. En min 2 en min 1 is minus 3. Minus 2 en minus 1 is minus 3 stil. C and that's the answer because you cannot add them because they are unlike terms. This ongelijk soortige termen, dat is drie termen, dus die antwoord is klaar. You cannot simplify that at all. They are unlike. So again, step number one is the minus times the minus is a plus, times a minus is a plus, minus times a plus is a minus. That's what you get your mark for. And the rest will still stay what it was. Oorspronkelijk was dit so. And you skip all the good word. Do not be too lazy to write it down again. All that happened is that the minus was timed in with all of those signs and there was a sign change. The minus it all that tekens for under. Now tell you op gelijk soortige termen. So it is a kwadraat b in a kwadraat b. Please be careful that you don't add a square b and a b square. They're not like terms. So daar coefficiënt is 2 en 2 geef my 4 a kwadraat b. When I add minus 4 and plus 4, it's plus 0 ab squared, but you don't write that because it's nothing. And then the last one is a plus 1ab and a min 1ab give you for you. No. So if you wanted to write 0 ab squared and 0 ab, that's fine, but you have to show me you know that that's nothing. So that it's just 4a squared b. So you can die stop net uit geloos het. You can write it, but you have to show me you know that there's nothing there. Last thing we can do is the story. Min mal a min is a plus. Min mal a plus is a min. Min mal a plus is a min. Min mal a min is a plus. It sounds like a broken record. Minus times a minus is a plus. Minus times a plus is a minus. Minus times a plus is a minus. And minus times a minus is a plus. That's all that happens in the first step. All the rest is just copied again. Raak, en nou tel ek die gelijk soortige termen met mekaar, the like terms, with the same variables, exact same variables, with the y3's, it's going to give me how many y3's? 4 plus 1 is 5, y to the power 3, en tel nou die coefficiënte met mekaar. Dan as ek gaan kyk na die y kwadrate, 
zodat so ik met min 7 en min 3 wat min 10 uit tot die mag 2 is. Because you're adding, it's not a minus, times a minus. It's not what we did there, times. When we add, it's minus 7 and minus 3 gives me minus 10. And then sit ek met die ei kwot ach die eie. How many y's? Plus 2 and minus 1 is plus 1 y. Put the one there, don't put the one there, it doesn't matter. And then the last is what we have is minus 1 and plus 3 but plus 2 is minus 1 plus 3 is equal to 2. Good, we'll come back to the exponent, we what you have seen, but you haven't done it with A's and B's as such yet. Maybe it's a level 4 sum. Op this stadium, you nog not gedoen 2 to the power bijvoorbeeld. 2 to the power 4 times 2 to the power 6 is 2 to the power. As you mal in the ground all is the dan hou then you die ground all and you plus the x put. Need to listen to my little verse. If you time and the bases are the same, you keep the base and you add the exponents. As you mal in the ground all is the hou die ground all and plus the x put. Need to. Of dit nou met getallen as ground all is, if it is with numbers in your bases. Or if it is with variables in the basis, the same thing applies. So what you did with numbers is now just applied to variables because we're in algebra with the variables of the alphabet now. Dus ook omdat algebra is, want ons werk nou met x en a's en al die alphabet letters. So wat jy met getalle gedoen het, gaan jy nou ook gedoen met, met um, veranderlikes. So as jy maal in die grondtal is die selfde, dan hou jy die grondtal, wat nou a is, in jy plus die exponente, nou, hoe kan jy m en n plus? Net so. Jy skryf n plus n, want jy kan het toch nie optel nie, want is ongelijk soortig. Al die baie verskillende goed kom nou saam. So the, the rule says, if you time and the bases are the same, you keep the base at the exponents. If you time and the bases are both a, you keep the base a and you add those exponents. You can't add m and n. m plus n stays m plus n because they are unlike terms. Dus dat ons nog heel tyd doen. Maar tel nie goed by mekaar wat nie by mekaar getel mag word nie. Dis nie gelijk soortig nie. If they could be added, you would. As jy kon het by mekaar tel, dan sal jy. So die selde met die deling. As het getalle, van my, as het getalle was, het ek die veranderlikes afget, ach die exponente afgetrek. If it was numbers, you would say, let's take for instance the same example. If it was 2 to the 4, uh, divided by 2 to the 1. You would keep the base and subtract the exponents. As dit getalle was, en het sê die grondtal is altijd 2, hou die grondtal, het kyk die exponente van mekaar af. Same thing if it's a variable. The bases are the same, you keep the base and you subtract the exponents. Hoe gaan ek die exponente van mekaar aftrek? Hy sê net m minus n. Can you get an answer for m minus n? No, they are unlike terms. You can never add unlike terms. Good. What is the real many hockey geweest? If you have a bracket in between exponents, in between exponents, then you time in the exponents. If this is all multiplication, that's net reals, versekere goed. There is not an exponent law if this says plus. If everything in here, there could be more things, are timed, then I can time in that exponent. As alles hier binnen in gemaal is, en al kan meer as 2 goed gewees he, dan maal jy die exponente, want die, expo die hakkie sit tussen die exponente, the bracket is in between the exponents. So you'll time it. So you're going to time m with p. What is m plus times with p? Just m p. You can't do anything there other than that, m times p. And if you want to write a multiplication in between, it's fine. If you want to write a dot, it's fine. If you just want to write mp, it's fine. Want dou, mp beteken, m mal p. So you can mal teken, of you put it out this and it's a disable. But it stays to the base of a. So a to the time the exponents. Mal met, you don't have to put that dot there, it wasn't there in the beginning. Dan gaan jy weer sê b. En wat moet jy met die exponente doen? Jy moet hulle mal met mekaar. So you time the exponent. That means multiplication if there's nothing in between. If you want to put the dot or the times there, you can. But it blijft nog steeds mal. So you must learn how to write this curve. Very good um, method of working is to always write this in 
alfabetical order, we've talked about that. Dan kan jy makkelijker sien as goed die celle is, as het altijd alfabetisch is. M kom ons voor P in die alfabet. N is before P in the alphabet. Always write it alphabetically so that if there are things that you can do something to, with each other, you'll be able to see it if you always write it in the same form. Then one last thing that you were taught is that something to the power of zero is equal to one. Now most pe people, most teachers also say anything to the power zero is one. And that's not exactly true, but for grade eights that's fine. Because if you put on your calculator zero to the power of zero, your calculator will say error. So pick up your soccer, you cannot null to the mach null. I think if you're in SFO, um, error in of math error, so it's key. Because it can't. You can't have zero to the power of zero. So actually to say anything to the zero is one is not quite right. You should say anything except zero to the power of zero is one. So, ons sê maar altyd enig iets to die mag nul is een, maar jy behoort nou net in die achterkop te hou vir graad 11 een dag. Dit is nie altyd enig iets to die mag nul nie. Something to the power of zero. So if I can quickly go to my examples here and add maybe here. Plus 7,03 n to the power of 0. Then I've just added times with 1. So enige plek, as ek het wel getoets het, kon ek dit iwers in die som insit, want daar toets ek of jy weet. Enig iets to die mag 0 is, 1. That anything to the power of 0, it doesn't matter how freaky, to the power of 0 is, 1. So anywhere in an exam, I can add that just to test whether you know that. Goed, maar kom ons kyk na die rest. So as ek dan een vraag soos hierdie vir jou vraag, wat toets ek? Which one of the laws am I testing? It's this one with all times and the exponent outside of a bracket. So ek maal die exponente met mekaar. I must time the exponents with each other. So ek gaan nog steeds grond al A en ek gaan nog steeds grond al B he. And I can put the dot there or leave it away, but I'm going to time the exponents. 3 times 5 is 15, 4 times 25. 5 is 20. 3 mal 5 is 15 en 4 mal 5 is 20. En dis dit, jy kan niks verder hier gaan doen nie. Jy het net gesê, daar is een hakkie, so ek maal die exponente met hierdie a, maal is, of het nou daar staan of nie, dit moet maal wees. If it was plus, you couldn't do that. That's other sums for very much later in your life. Goed, as ek nou die hierdie sonnetje gaan kyk, of daar nou daar bij gestaan het of nie, ek gaan dit nou ignoreer. Wat doen ek dan nou verder hierso? Wat is hier om te doen? You'll see that the, 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 the question was simplify. Die vraag was vereenvoudig. Wat is hier om te vereenvoudig? Wat moet ek hier gaan doen? Dis een malerij. Maal van wat? Now if you break it down, basically you have the signs that you have to time, then the numbers that you have to time, and then the variables that you have to time, and each of them has their own rules. Want wat het jy nou geleer van een min Mal, a min. Da, 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 sa, plus. You have to write the plus there. You know you don't have to, but you can if you want to. So, eerst die tekens. First the signs. Dan die getalle. 2 mal 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Has forever been. And then, if you time B to the 2 and B to the 5. Oh, oh, oh. If you time and the bases are the same, you keep the base and you add the exponents. If you divide and the bases are the same, you keep the base and you subtract the exponents. Sounds like a whole verse and you should know it that way. You see, jylle recipe, as jy maal in die grondtal is die celle, hou die grondtal en plus die exponente. As jy deel in die grondtal is die celle, hou die grondtal en trek die exponente af. So I'm timing and the bases are the same. So I keep the base and I Add the exponents, not time, add. Jy moet jou reel scan, want wanneer maal ek, en wanneer tel ek op, if you don't know your rules, you're going to get so dear mekaar. You know that Afrikaans word, there's nothing like that in English, dear mekaar, because it sounds dear mekaar. Alright, messed. So we've got, if you time and the bases are the same, you keep the base B, and you add the exponents, 2 and 5 is 7. Jy kan nie nou begin maal nie, you don't, Time when you should be adding, you must know your rules when they appear. Good, and that's it. You can leave the plus there or you can take it away, but that's the answer. This has a mononome answer. Das a mononome antwoord. Das a een termpie. That's it. For the next one, K 
Can you now start and say a minus times a minus is a plus? No, because order of operations, first you have to do that exponent. Eerst moet jy die hakies gaan doen, en wat sy hakie goed is daar? What does the bracket tell you to do? You've got to time this in. So first of all, you've got a minus squared. Jy het ons nou al geleer van een minus tot een even mag, en een minus tot een oneven mag. Can you see that in every sum, there's a million little rules. You've got to know them off by heart. Jy moet in elke sum met jy al die duisende reels ken. So as ek a hakie het, so first of all, you can't say a minus times a minus, then your order of operations is wrong. As jy begin by a min, maal a min is a plus, is jy bezig om die volgorde van bewerkingsverkeer te hee. Jy moet eers hierdie ding uitwerk, en hom gaan uitwerk, because powers comes before timing. Machte voor maal. En as ek nou hierdie mag gaan doen, dan moet jy nou geleer dat a minus to a even exponent is a plus. A min tot a even mag is a plus. 2 minus a mag a plus. 4 minus a mag a plus. 6 minus a mag a plus. Every even amount of minuses make a plus, but odd numbers give you a minus. Minus times a minus three times will give you a minus. Seven times is a minus. To the power 101 is a minus. Tot die mag 117 is a minus. Tot die mag 116 is a plus. So a minus tot die even is a plus, en dan drie kwadraat ken jy moos, is nege. You know your powers of two, your powers of three, your powers of five. Jy moet jou machte van 2 en 3 en 5 ken. So jy ken 3 kwadraat is 9. En onthou nou daar moet ingemaal word, want eindig staan daar moos nou 1 maal 2. En dan is het moos nou 3 kwadraat wat 9 is. If you first want to write 3 square, that's perfect. En dan b tot die mag 1 maal 2 geef jou b tot die mag 2. So we're breaking it down. Times still with. A dat oneven mag oor a negatief gaan vir my a minus gee. Now this is a problem. So I'd rather want to keep the bracket. I don't want to write times a minus next to each other, although some people will not say that's wrong, it's just not nice. Okay? En dan 2 tot die mag 1 gemaal met die 3 gee vir tot die mag 3, wat jy weet is, 2 tot die mag 3, nie 6 nie, 8. 2 to the power 3 is not 6, it's 8. And then b to the power of 1 times 3 is, do you see that you have so many laws? First of all, you couldn't start timing. That's rule number one, order of operations. In this one, negative to an even exponent is a positive. Negative to the even mag is a positive. Dan moet jy die exponent weg gaan gebruik wat sê, maal hierdie exponente in. This is the law that I'm working with here. So 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 times 1 is 2. And 3 times 1 is 3 and 3 times 1 is 3. And a negative to an odd exponent is a negative. So many laws. Now you can first in the next step go and say, so this is 9b squared times with 8b to the 3 negative. Now where's my times? I don't have to put it there, but you can. Ek wil hee, jy moet sien, jy mag goed op verskillende maniere skryf. You can put the times there, you can leave it away. You can even put the dot there if you want to. But see here that this betekent nog steeds jy moet maal. It still means multiply. So if I multiply, I first multiply the signs, then the numbers, then the variables. I gaan nou eers maal die tekens wat a plus maal a min is, wat a min is. Plus times a minus is a minus. Then 9 times 8. Who knows what 9 times 8 is? 70. Two, please use a calculator if you don't know your 9 and 8 times tables. And then if I times, if I times and the bases are the same, you keep the base and add the exponents. Word jy my recipe? As jy maal in die grondtal is die selfde, hou die grondtal b en plus die exponente. So plus the exponents is going to give me b to the power of 5, not times. Sometimes you time exponents, that's when there's a bracket between. When you add exponents, it's because you have multiplication. In sê nou, hierdie was a A en daar was a B, dan was jou antwoord net A mal B. If this was A and that was B, you couldn't add the exponents, then it would just stand next to each other. Because when it stands next to each other, it means times and you can't simplify. Kom ons doen een laaste voorbeeld, voordat jy begin moet gaan oefen. Goed, hierdie hakkie beteken hy rarig ietsie. Does that bracket really mean something or not? The bracket doesn't, and I could even put more brackets here. This is the way it was written in the textbook, without brackets. 
you can hock his inset if you can back foot. I would take away the bracket because then there's times minus again next to each other. But there's nothing that has to be done timing in there. So can I just start doing this thing about if I have a minus times a minus times a plus. First do the signs. Can you work? Yes, you need to be a mole and I need to look stone. Or yes, you need to look stone and I to be a mole. I'm trying to let you know that there's lots of variations on every single sum that can be an alternative. I would like to say, let's do it all together, but you don't have to. You can first do these two, time it, and keep that one standing there. Or you can first do those two and keep this one standing there. I'm going to do it all the, all the way through. So, eerst die tekens, first the signs. Then the numbers, the actual physical integers, die getalle. And then, here's now M and N and P's, so I'll do them all separate because if the bases are the same, you can add exponents, but if the bases are not the same, they're just going to stand next to each other. So M and N and P are going to mal the ground where the cell is, hou up the ground and plus the exponents, and the rest stand on it along with each other. So, first thing, the tekens. First, the signs. It's a minus, times a minus is a plus, times a plus stays a plus. Would you plus the obvious? No, you don't have to write the plus. Then I do the numbers. 3 times 2 is 6. Times 4 is 24. 3 mal 2 is 6. Mal 4 is 4. 20. Then is there m's and n's and p's. So we do the m. So it's going to be m to the power of. You can't add all the exponents together. They're not all the same bases. Where is the bases that are the same? There's a m to the 2, there's a m to the 2, there's a m to the 2. It's not like terms. Dis nie gelijk soortig nie. Jy tel nie nou coefficiënte by mekaar nie, is besig om te maal. But when you add, you add the coefficients. This is not adding, this is multiplication. And when you add, you keep the bases the same, and you add the exponents. 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6. Dan kom die ene n to the 4, 3, and there's nothing there. So add the 4 and the 3 and you get 7. So you hou die grondtal n, as die grondtal in die cell is, hou die grondtal n and tel die exponente by my car. And dan sal nog a p. What's in between here? Times. You can write the dot, you can even write multiply, it can write nothing. p to the 2, there's nothing there, p to the 5. If you time and the bases are the same, you keep the base and you add the exponents. 2 and 5 gives you 7. So this, there was one step for this answer, would be plus 24, M6, N7, P7. Five marks for one shot writing your answer down. But you've got to know your rules. Your homework. Exercise 8.5, soek maar die rechte blad, sy 8.5, 1, 5, 10, 11, 15, 18, 20 en 22. Practice makes perfect. Doe eers weer die voorbeelde wat jy die antwoorde van het, do the examples of which you have the answers, and then you go and do these sums.